offense? Nope. Same guys? Same, same guys. Same forwards? Yeah. No, Tage Thompson's in for C.J. Smith. Did you just want to get Tage into the game, or did you not like C.J.'s game? No, I, I like C.J.'s game, but as part of his development, I, I thought Tage had a really good, solid game against Detroit last, ta- last game, and we're just getting him back into the lineup. You going with Carter or Linus today? Going with Linus. Yeah, so when you go into a weekend like this, how do you kind of balance, okay, which guy gets what, which game? Well, I think uh, Linus has played some very solid hockey for us. Um, um, he had a good game against Detroit. That, 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 that we take that into effect, and uh, Carter had a good game against Winnipeg. So uh, we'll see after this game who's going to get the next start, but Linus is playing tonight. We know what you want with the defensive effort, but what are you looking at when you see the Detroit Red Wings? Well, they got a lot of, they got really good team speed, so we're going to have to manage that part of the game because they transition very well. Uh, we're going to have to be ready to play a fast game, and uh, uh, you know, one o'clock game, we got to prepare and right when the puck drops and, and play our game. How worrisome is that? Because Aho's line has good <coughs> speed, and it seems like at times you had trouble handling him with his line. I don't think we had trouble handling him. I think it was just a, a situation where we just left people open. And uh, um, obviously, they got some very good team speed over there with Lark and, and, and the CU. Uh, so we're, we're aware of that. But uh, that's, you know, we can't control what the other team's doing. What we control is how we, how we defend, how we manage our game, and, and play our game. I think uh, for the most part, when we have the puck, we're doing good things. It's just when we don't have it, we have to make right, good decisions and, and, and cover people and, and do the best we can to defend. What's gone into the success you've had in these afternoon games this year? I think just the, the preparation, the guys being ready. Um, you know, we talk about that. Uh, you know, you have to get your head geared up and your mind geared up and your body geared up to get ready uh, because you've just eaten some scrambled eggs and now you're expected to go out and perform. So, uh, but they've done a really good job of managing that. Phil, if they play the defensive game you want them to, well, does the offense suffer then or shouldn't it? No, it shouldn't. I mean, we've always talked about it, and this is going back from day one, just our checking detail. That leads to possession. We have to do a better job of it. There's going to be times, let's face it, that we're going to be caught in our end and we're going to have to suck it up and play and defend and, and just and grind that out. Uh, that's going to happen during the game. But, uh, if, but if we can try to counter that and move the puck quick and get our transition game in order, we're a much faster team and we're on the attack and we're on the afford check. How much do the, the forwards, I'm sorry, do the defense take an inordinate amount of the scrutiny with all the goals and they're not getting the help from the forwards? Uh, that was a bad question, Mike. <laughs> 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 you know, it's one of those things. Every, team's go through, every team goes through it. You know, you, you get into a rut, right? And, uh, you know, sometimes your offensive game's in order and your defense is lacking. Sometimes you're shutting teams down and you're not getting production. I think their guys have uh, really uh, t- taken ownership with it. We've addressed it. Uh, they know what they have to do. You know, we have to be harder in front of our net. And, you know, that's, that's obvious. So we talked about it. Now they just got to execute it. Thanks, everyone.